Hey guys, this is Natash, and this is kind of a continuation of the finale of The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. Now this is a game from a good few years ago, it's called The Path. It's based on the story of Little Red Riding Hood. Now the big similarity between this game and The Vanishing of Ethan Carter is that They've both got their stories to tell, and you need to wander and find that story. So, in a few seconds, the game's gonna pop up. I'm not actually like, recording this live. I recorded the gameplay, and I'm recording my voice over it. So, first off, you gotta love the atmosphere here. This is, this was mind blowing when it came out. Go to grandmother's house. and stay on the path. Those are the rules. And if you stay on the path, you'll get to grandmother's house. Again, just like with The Vanishing of Ethan Carter, you keep going and you'll get to the Vandegriff house. It's just a matter of will you actually find the story when you get there? So... Now one of the things about this game is that the music is procedurally generated. So the soundtrack is never the same. Now, I'm doing this video because I want to articulate a point that I made in the finale of the Ethan Carter series. See, right now the music is completely different. So, now this run through did not stray off the path, just went through and just going right down the path till we get to grandmother's house. This music means you're almost there. See, right there, there's a white bridge that's, like, slowly coming into view. Now this is kind of one of the big drawbacks of the game. Movement is not very fast. Like, this is the normal walk speed, and you don't always have the option to sprint. But, you know... There's also the fact that you interact with things by letting go of the controls and just not pressing anything. It's not a very convenient control scheme there. But, leaving that aside, here is what happens when you get to grandmother's house without straying from the path. By the way, if you thought the movement in that forest was slow, take a look at this. Your character will only take a step 
every time you hit the W key. And I can get that, you know, you do that so that things can kind of sink in, but that makes movement very slow in this part. Especially in big hallways like this. Here we go. And there you are. And there's Grandma, just lying there. Looking decidedly creepy. Especially right there. And that's it. There you go. Items collected, 0 out of 13. Special rooms unlocked, 0 out of 3. Distance traveled. I can't actually read that in this video. Wolf encountered, no. Failure. Rank D. That's what happens when you skip things and just try to get to the end of the game. You end up with something that just isn't satisfying as an ending. So, then you try it again. As traffic goes right past this house. Now, I don't do a lot with this game. Like, I'm not going to be doing a series on it because I played it a lot like years ago to the point where I cannot be genuine when talking about this game but I picked this character because I remember where the thing she needs to find is so let's just find that real quick Okay, so we're getting pretty close at this point. Gotta love this expanse of forest. And I didn't actually do this during this recording, but if you set the visual options lower, the forest just becomes dead trees. So, here we are. Now, this is what the game refers to as a wolf. Basically, the story of Little Red Riding Hood. The girl strays from the path and finds the wolf. And this is this character's wolf. up a cigarette pressures her into taking one
just pan out on the two of them as the music just gets more chaotic and uncomfortable. There you have the wolf. And this is what happens next. It's rainy, it's dark. You can't even walk. This is all you can do at this point. But you finally made it to grandmother's house. And unfortunately, I am going to have to speed up the footage here. It really kind of does take a while. And now you're in. And here's what happens. It's all smoky and... dark that hallway is now looks like a boiler room There is just so much there that you want to see and you want to understand, but you can't. It's just out of your reach. You need to look and you feel, you feel like you really do want to look and you want to see what you missed. And that is something the vanishing of Ethan Carter didn't quite have. And part of it was the, you know, the fact that it was completely open for exploration. But the fact is that, you know, It, how do I want to put this? 
the second time I had to go through everything, I didn't really want to. We're back here at the opening screen. And she's gone. It's time to try with someone else. See what they can find. Because the vanishing of Ethan Carter forces you to go through the entire game again, it loses the exploration aspect. It loses you wanting to actually find out. I can actually flat out say, if I got a bad ending, I would have played it again regardless. That's the end of the footage we have, but, you know, if I, if I got a bad ending, my reaction wouldn't be, well, well, I'm done. Not with that game. That game, the way it was building, would have made me want to keep going would have made me want to explore and find everything that I missed or even if not everything just find the things that I missed so I could finally make some sense out of it but instead it really did suffer for the fact that you were forced to replay it and you were forced to find everything instead of letting anything be optional. I can tell you flat out, a couple of the side quests should not have needed to be mandatory. You know, they built on to the understanding of what was going on, but not so much that it had to be mandatory to go through all of that just to find, you know, everything that had happened. Some things should be optional in a game. You know, this game took that to an extreme. Everything was optional. But it was a choice that you would make to keep looking. So, I guess this is going to be the conclusion to my conclusion on The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. This game is The Path. It was released, uh, I want to say, 2010? I want to say 2010, but it might have been 2009. definitely worth checking out because I could not possibly show you everything that there is to find in this game. With the vanishing of Ethan Carter, I didn't really have a choice, did I? Keep enjoying the videos and subscribe to help the channel and see more.